Hey guys, so today I'm going to talk about the respiratory system. All right, um, the word respire means to breathe. All right, um, the respiratory system works very closely with the circulatory system, which is the heart and the blood vessels and um, those that system we talked about the other day. So they work hand in hand. They're they're kind of like teammates. All right, so I'm going to go over some of the major parts that I want you to know for the test on Thursday. Um, and then I'm going to briefly go over their functions, all right? Okay, so the first part you need to know is obviously you know this one. This one's the nasal cavity, or the nose, but we're going to call it the nasal cavity. And that's where obviously you breathe, you breathe in air. So you breathe in oxygen through your nasal cavity, okay? You have all kinds of mucus and all these little nose hairs in here that purify the air that you breathe. Okay, it's kind of like a filter. So if I don't know if you remember the water filter that we designed whenever we were studying space, but it cleaned the all the glitter and all that stuff we put in the water. So it purified it, it, it cleansed it, it cleaned it out. So that's what the nasal cavity does. It's kind of like a filter, all right? It filters the air. Because think about it, we don't want to breathe in dust and all that going on our lungs. So your nasal cavity is going to help filter the air that we breathe, all right? Okay. So the next part is going to be the mouth, all right? And this is another major part of the respiratory system and also the digestive system. Um, and that, through the mouth, we breathe in air and we take in food and take in liquid, all right? So you can breathe through either one of those or both at the same time. Okay, so this part right here is called the throat, okay? But the fancy word for it is pharynx, okay? So that's a fancy word for throat. It's basically a passageway for food, uh, liquid, and air. Okay, so that's the pharynx. So it can be a part of the digestive system, technically, as well as the respiratory system. So that's the pharynx. Okay, I don't know if you ever heard of somebody or knew somebody that got pharyngitis, but that's inflammation of the throat, and that's uh, the, it comes from the pharynx. All right, so we talked about this in the digestive system. There's this little flap of skin right here that makes sure that things don't go down our windpipe. So we want things when we eat, we want things to go into our esophagus, not our windpipe, otherwise we choke, okay? And this is called the epiglottis. And it's, uh, like I said, part of the digestive system, but also considered part of the respiratory system because it protects our airway from, from harmful things and from choking. So that's the epiglottis. Okay, the next part that you need to know is this region right here, okay? This is called um, the trachea. All right, it's also known as the windpipe. All right, so the epiglottis, so it's a uh, esophagus is gonna run kind of right here it's not on the picture, but it's gonna run kind of in back of the trachea. So that's what the epiglottis does. All right, it makes sure things go down the esophagus rather than the um, trachea, the windpipe. All right, so this part I need to reverse. I forgot this part. This little bump right here, kind of like where you can see on guys, the Adam's apple, it's kind of in that region, this part that kind of goes out. This is called the larynx. All right. This is gonna be our voice box. So where our vocal cords are, it's gonna be our voice box. So when I was your age, I always got larynx and pharynx confused because they look very, very similar. But yeah, your larynx is gonna be your voice box. I was telling some of y'all a story about whenever I was working at a surgical um, clinic, um, I walked in on a surgery and this patient was having um, their voice box removed because they had cancer of the larynx. So that was called a laryngectomy. And so they were getting their larynx removed, all right? So when that person woke up, they would never ever be able to speak again, but their cancer was free, or they were free of cancer. So that's a, that's the larynx. All right, awesome. Okay, so then you have these two tubes right here that lead to the lung, and these are called the bronchus. bronchus all right I had to get some of my coffee there all right you know I love my coffee okay 
So then there's these little branches in the lungs that look like limbs of a tree, okay? Those are called bronchi. So I know you've heard of somebody, or you had it, that has bronchitis. Well, that means whenever the bronchi are inflamed, anytime you see the word itis, that word means inflammation. Okay? So bronchitis is inflammation of these branches, or the bronchi. All right? Okay, and we forgot to label the lung, but I know y'all already know that. The lung. Okay? So at the ends of these branches, it doesn't really show it on this picture, obviously, but there's these little grape-like structures at the end of these branches, all right? And they are little air sacs that exchange uh, carbon dioxide with oxygen, okay? And these are called alveoli. And they might be the most important part of the respiratory system. So they're like, if anytime you see the word air sac, like on the test, you're gonna pick alveoli because that's what they're known as. So just think, it starts with an A, it starts with an A. So they're air sacs that exchange CO2 with oxygen. Okay, and on these little alveoli, there's these little things called capillaries, all right? And that's how the oxygen is able to get into our bloodstream, okay? So the capillaries get the oxygen that we breathe in from the alveoli when it finally gets here, and then it's able to go into our heart. And so I need y'all to know that after it's exchange, it's gonna go inside of the pulmonary vein. Okay, that's where the oxygenated blood is going to uh, flow after um, leaving the lung. It's going to go into the pulmonary vein and into the left atrium and so on. Okay, and finally out the aorta to the rest of the body. All right, so that's kind of how those two systems work together there. So this is the respiratory system. So respire means to breathe. You got your nasal cavity. You got your mouth. You got your throat, which is the pharynx. You have your epiglottis that um, protects things from going down the windpipe and uh, protects you from choking. Um, you have the larynx, that's your voice box. So just think, if you get laryngitis, that means um, you lose your voice. So your voice box is affected. Trachea is your main airway or your windpipe. All right. You got the bronchus, those big branches. You got the bronchi, which are these little branches right here. Just think of bronchitis. And at the end of these little tiny, um, all these little branches are alveoli and they're air sacs, all right, that exchange uh, oxygen for carbon dioxide. So that's pretty much the respiratory system. So I hope this was helpful.